What's up guys, Nerdy Jando here. My hair's looking very uh, Chad meme today. But, <laughs> um, so today I want to talk about something and I've kind of been putting this one off, uh, just th that same thing, but I want to talk about the controversial idea of Voron 2.4 versus Voron Trident. Yeah! So I can speak on this because I have actually built both a 2.4 and a Trident. Uh, and I want to give my two cents on which one I think is better and how it kind of relates. Because there's going to be thousands of people building these things in the near future. And I think you should probably know this. This is going to be the no bullshit version. Okay, and like I said, the literal no bullshit version, uh, this is going to be super short and to the point of what you really need to know. Uh, there's a, um, The main difference between the Trident and the 2.4 is going to be the Z-axis. Now, you'll see on the Trident, they have these screws, these lead screws that lead up to three points, and that's the, the, the Trident uh, of why they have it. And the 2.4 has four, uh, four joints on the side that are all being operated by bellies in a whole pulley system on the bottom. Now, this is the main difference. I'm, I'm being serious. There's literally almost nothing different between these printers. The gantries are all the same, these are all the same, they both do quad level gantrying, they both do all the other clipper stuff, everything you'd ever need a 3D printer to do. Now, at first I will say, and this is this is kind of the argument going forward, the Voron 2.4 can technically be faster with the fact that it's a floating gantry and it can just zip between points. The X axis, or since the Z axis is stationary, all of the movement is done on the X, Y, and Z on the actual gantry. So in theory, if you're gonna be running at stupid, stupid, stupid fast speeds or doing whatever you're doing, you can move the gantry, slide it around. And also this one has one other feature that kind of isn't even really a feature yet because it's not in the system. But the Voron 2.4 has the ability to do not non-planar slicing in a weird way that uh, the Trident in theory could do, but I feel like it just makes a lot more sense on the 2.4 with the way that the gantry can off-level itself very accurately in, in 3D space to give you some kind of non-planar slicing. But that is saying uh, with, with that, the Trident itself is way less complicated to build. Now, there's gonna be people arguing saying, it's just four pulleys, it's just four belts, it's just four, yes, if this is your first one, it is just four belts and four more assemblies that you have to manage and make sure everything is tensioned correctly and make sure all this other stuff is perfect. Now, this being said, I did build the 2.4 first, so uh, take that how you want, but I come back to my Trident every single day now, um, and same thing, the 2.4 works, works really well, um, but the same thing, I will prefer to print on the Trident just because of the sheer reliability of these ball screws and the lead screws and everything else. And since less things are moving on the Trident, uh, there's just less things to go wrong. And I think that's that's kind of the consensus of what, what I'm saying with this. Um, I have built a Trident and Tridents are overall just easier to assemble, less motors, less problems, less everything. And you kind of get the same thing out of it. So it's it, it, at that point, do you really need a 2.4? Are you really going to push the boundaries of it? Or should you just build a Trident? which I think is kind of the, the easier one of the two to build. I think that's that's kind of where I'm going with this uh, no BS one. If you're really a go-getter and you really want to be cutting edge uh, with a flying gantry and everything like that, go for a 2.4. If this is your first crazy printer, um, I would build a Trident. And the cooler thing about the Trident too, is once you have a Trident, uh, and this is something I wouldn't have even attempted with a Voron 2.4, building other devices from that Trident is also then possible. This is just a Trident frame. And it's the same thing, having that fixed gantry, not having to worry about everything else, enabled me to build something cool like this Chess AI. But I think that's the that's kind of the drama two cents of because if you're this far and you're already looking at this video, you are probably have the capability of printing all the parts for the for the Trident or the Voron. So you've already gotten past the PIF problem, unless you're just buying from PIF. If you're buying from PIF, buy whatever part kits they have. I mean, both of them are an amazing printer. But if you're going to be printing your own parts, doing all this other stuff, and you're doing the full Voron experience. I think you're better off building a Trident. Now, I know people are really gonna disagree with this. They're gonna say, why not the 2.4? Why not this? I think this is just a much better entry machine into the whole Voron thing. Now, if you're completely behind all this and you, you don't even know what these are, I would 100% recommend building a V0. So there's also one other variant of the Vorons that you can build, and this is a tiny Voron that, in I think it's in theory, the whole point of the tiny Voron is it's an enclosed printer. If speed's your name, this thing can be even faster than all these. These even have all their other problems when it comes to bigger ones, but there's a tiny one that you can build that has the ability to print everything
every single part of one of these bigger ones. And that's the whole idea. Like the small one prints the big one, bigger one prints the bigger one, bigger one prints the bigger one. At one one point, we're gonna have a Voron 2.4 or Voron Trident. That's literally like the size of this room. I can I can guarantee literally almost guarantee it. I don't know who's gonna design it. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah. But that's my that's my uh, two cents Voron Trident argument. Um, I think you should build a Trident. Uh, I just because of how much I love it. This thing is like a literal tank, and that's the thing about these machines. Like if you build them right, like I've had one of my friends when this one was the only one running has fully like almost tackled my printer. Printer was fine. He got messed up. His arm got all messed up. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my thoughts on Trident versus Trident versus 2.4. Um, same thing. If you have a reason to have a 2.4 build the 2.4 but if you're just getting in and going I think I recommend the Trident it's overall complexity and and the, the percentage and the chance of you actually finishing the project go way up by just bringing the complexity down and uh, yeah I think that's that's kind of my thoughts on it um, now I also I want to dig in a little bit on the actual just just design things and this is another reason why if you're still watching this why you should build one of these building a, a boron completely changes your design process like this is even even on this project I did the other day this is something in a project I would never have tried to tackle if I didn't have a crazy powerful and accurate 3D printer just knowing all the specs in my computer and knowing everything before I even get to the printing step this is almost an afterthought now I just click button on computer and then the thing I want just comes out being able to know the exact dimensions and the exact tolerances and everything you need to push in is kind of what separates Vorons from a lot of other printers. And I know it's that same thing, but it, it's, the, it's the fact that they have an enclosed space where the entire print process can be very like fine-tuned and monitored to be like perfectly repeatable. And I think that is the biggest thing that, that, that changed with my design philosophy when it comes to these 3D printers now. I don't have to think about the printers themselves anymore, which makes it really easy. But that's about it for today. Um, the quick thing, I just want to make this video because I know someone's gonna ask and I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you this yeah you got sent this um, but that's about it for today also we're still just absolutely smashing through digits I don't know <laughs> but that's about it I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time bye guys day 29 day 29